Okay, so today we're going to talk about ibutamarin or MK677, also known as MK0677 or L163191. This is commonly referred to as a SARM. It is not. A SARM is a selective androgen receptor modulator. This isn't what this is. This is a growth hormone secretor. Very similar to GHRP6, GHRP2, CJ1295, those sort of things. It is more actually closer to a peptide than anything else. But it's oral, unlike the others which are injectable. Now, it works via the grenolin receptor or adrenaline access, which is responsible for our appetite. So most people will, will experience an increase in appetite when using this drug. And it has commonly in the past been used for that. There is some dispute on its half-life, some medical studies showing four to six hours. A lot of websites will tell you it's 24 hours. Um, what I can tell you is this, whether the half-life is 4, 6 or 24, its effects will definitely last around 24 hours and it will elevate growth hormone and IGF-1 levels subsequently. Now, excuse me, it will increase lean muscle mass and it will increase bone density as well and will aid with condition. Now, one study showed that a dose of 25 milligrams a day elevated IGF levels by 40%. And an eight-week study showed that at the two-week mark, growth hormone IGF-1 and IGF binding protein 3 were all increased and elevated. In fact, there's an increase in long, lean body mass but no increase to total fat mass. It didn't actually make the users any leaner. They didn't lose any fats over the eight week period, but they did gain muscle tissue and fat levels remained the same. So overall body fat percentage was reduced. Peaks very, very rapidly in the system in a sense of effects. Uh, and what was shown in this study was that the most peak levels were reached after about two weeks and then maintained for the eight week period. So, Pretty effective stuff and has shown to have some good scientific results. Uh, most people commonly use this on an evening and obviously because it has an increased effect on growth hormone production, you want to really make sure that you are in a fasted state or at least clear of food for about an hour either side. Otherwise, glucose I will obviously spike insulin that therefore will dull the growth hormone effect. Uh, and, and actually reduce the effectiveness of this peptide. Otherwise, that is about it. So I'll get this up in schedule and get this up as soon as possible. And I'll go on to do some more of the old peptides as we move forward from week to week.